my character uh, is Clarence Withers, and he's the show out kind of superstar of the team. He's, I guess, the most, the most athletic of them all. Um, so he has this natural ability, you know, kind of from the neighborhood or from the playground style of playing. But um, that's all he is, you know, he's kind of like, he wills, you know, he, he likes to go for all the shots. He doesn't like to pass the ball, you know, he doesn't like to even run down the court to play defense. So what's your basketball experience in real life? Are you any good? Uh, I'm all right. Um, I can look like I can do just about anything, but I, I'm not all that good in basketball. I can dribble. I can dribble. Uh, my shot has gotten better since this movie, uh, but I can move. You know, I can get around, you know. All right. Now, in this movie, Will Ferrell wrestles a bear. Suppose the whole fate of the movie depended on you wrestling a scary large animal. What would it be? How big are um, sloths? <laughs> How big are they? I mean, I don't know. Maybe like, you know, maybe half your size. Well, yeah, I wrestle that. You want something slow? Yeah. You, you don't. You don't want anything that's gonna that's gonna hurt you. Yeah, if the fate of this movie depended on it, yeah. All right. All right. Are you close to the other actors in the film? Is it like a buddy buddy kind of thing? Um, yeah. Well, you meet you know these actors on set, and um, it was my first time working with Will, and uh, the first time I met him was when I had to audition for this movie. I had to actually audition with him. So that was my first time I'm like I'm walking in the room and that's, you know, Will. And we have to go through a scene. Um, I work with Woody um, on this picture and a picture before um, that's coming out called Battle in Seattle. So, you know, I've known Woody for a while. And so uh, once you spend time on set, you know, you become like buddies. No, you're from Outkast. What's your opinion of where hip-hop and uh, rap is headed today? Uh, you got to love it. I mean, I love every... Every part of it, I know a lot of people complain and say, well, it's not hip-hop and it's going this way. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's all just different movements. It sways left, it sways right. So you know whatever, you know, this dance kind of club party kind of sound is, there's going to be a reaction to that. People that are tired of it. And so it's going to sway a whole other way. So you got to love. I love every movement of it. So I'm not, I ain't mad at it at all. I jam to a lot of them songs for the last two, three years. You know, and a lot of it has been from my hometown, Atlanta. You know, so it's been a lot of leaning and rocking and snapping and popping, and we love it. We love it. Now, in this movie, it seems like everyone's getting tropical. Yeah, let's get tropical. Tropical. What's your favorite tropical drink? Pina colada. All right. Yeah, yeah. And what's your favorite way to get tropical? Um, slam dunking. Yeah? Did you do a lot of that when you were younger? No. Because it's a new thing for you. It's a new thing. And where do you see your career headed? Are you going to stick with the movies, music, both? Uh, well, I stick with whatever, you know, whichever way the wind is kind of taking me. Um, I just like to create stuff and like to see results. I get off on seeing stuff created and, you know, that's, that's me. Do you feel the creative process is different in the movie than in the music? Or? Uh, a bit, a bit different um, because in the movie you're kind of reading somebody else's lines. You're kind of, you know, um, giving your translation of what the writer was saying and how do you think you can make this character be this way. Uh, writing music, you're writing your own script, you're your own director, you know, you're your own craft service person. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all there, you know, so you have control over all of it. Uh, when you're in, in a movie, it's kind of like you're, you're, you're with people, you know, you're, you're in a crew and you kind of move as a crew. What about the improv aspect of it? Was there a lot of improv in this movie? Did that connect to your musical background? Or? Yeah, yeah, because you kind of, once you know kind of like the hook, you know, or the tone of whatever the scene is supposed to be, you start and you finish, you know, what you do in between, you know, it's kind of like the cool stuff. And you get to freestyle in a way, you know, which you, different ways to say different things. And sometimes something pops in your head and you just say it, and it ends up being what they keep and what people think is funny. That's cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It was great to meet you. Thanks.